Hello, my name is Eugene Fredericks and I live in Kikotsmobi village. I, I'm originally originally from Shomopavi and um, I'm up here at White Bear Shop who is my great uncle. He's the owner of this shop and I'm here to give a little demonstration. I mean, I'm going to show this gentleman's weavings and uh, that Explain to them that's we that's your weavings also. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a particular um, hand woven things that I make textiles like kilts. The whole material is hand woven, and it's woven on an upright room, loom in this manner. Then when it's taken off the loom, it's a plain white cloth. Then the embroidery is done on the material to change it into ceremonial garments. And here's one. This is a completed one here, isn't it, or not? No. Yeah, this one is a completed kilt. Did you want to slide that over the bench so we can see it like we had it before? There you go. Thank you, sir. Yeah. This, this piece here is the bottom half of a wedding robe which was made into a kilt. How long did it take you to do this? Uh, uh, this type of embroidery with the green and the triangles on it, it takes about a year and a half if you sit at it every day. If you're at it every day, huh? If you sit at it every day. And did you have another piece there we wanted to show? Yes, I have this, the other rope, the full rope. And we all know Akima's weavings that I've shown on my videos before. And this gentleman knows Akima too. And this, here's another one of his artwork here. This is a full wedding robe, all handmade. It's done in the same manner. And both ends need to be embroidered. It's still in the process of being finished. And it'll take me another year to get it done, approximately. God but, bless you, bud. But considering how slow that is, that's fast by other Hopi standards. Um, as always, God bless and enjoy from up here on the Mesas. Yes. Thank you.